So with me, um, there's, there's days where you want to look natural, but you want to you know, express that you feel good in your own skin, but accentuate and, 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 and exaggerate those features that you're so very proud of. And that's what me is about. When, you want, I wanna, when I want to show the world me and how I feel and the best parts of, who, of my face and who I am, because I think makeup is, is like clothes. Makeup is like art. It's an expression of what's happening within you. Um, sometimes when you can't get that line right, you're probably very frustrated that day, you know what I mean? And until you calm down, then you'll get your cat eye right at some stage, or if you have the right technique, you know what I'm saying? So, and then with power, I always find that like lipstick and eyeliner, I want someone to be drawn to my eyes. And I've always found that when I'm feeling extremely confident, I'm going to wear like a dark strong red or like a like a whiny kind of color and um, and I feel like power for me is when I'm sure of who I am I'm sure of myself my purpose and in that moment I want to own that power and the direction where it's headed and the lipstick in there is called diva and for me what's really cool about that lipstick is We've had women like Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, um, Mariah Carey redefine the word diva and what it means and look at the purpose and the destiny of those women and how they really took charge of who they were and the talent that they had. I, I think, you know, not every customer is the same. So we, we kind of acknowledge that on the brand, you know, and we always say we're a brand for, for everyone. So when we do something like this, we need to make sure no matter what your skin tone or male or female this is something that would work for you so we you know we kind of look at that first the brand doesn't do kits often because we do really um, focus on our hero products when it comes to holiday and limited limited collections or trend collections you might see one or two kits coming there we we wanted to try it we want to bring something new with our all-time favorites and kind of teach them a really easy way how to use them um, and then obviously just you know slap on a little bit of value for, for, the, for the consumer so I you know when I think of holiday we do it once a year we can't keep those on count and we keep saying to the guys that come in that say oh I'm looking for this we're like you should have come when they launched because you know they're, they're limited edition and that's what's really special about this you know it's it's limited edition you're never going to see this kid again you know once it sells out it sells out. So to say, for me to say I'm the first person on this continent to have this collaboration is what I think is really going to inspire young women and young um, boys, you know, young people in this country to really go out there and, and create something that no one has done before and to challenge themselves and, 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 and to kind of think of different ways to challenge the rest of the world um, to do certain things. And even then with Netflix, like it's the same thing. I'm the first person to do this on the continent and for me that's that's the story that I want to sell to the young to the young child of Africa and for me that's the impact that I hope I'm, I managed to have with these collaborations yeah uh, yeah I mean look we had the the, the launch kickoff was the 20th of February um, so we've got a whole education awareness about the programs why these kids um, we've got really awesome hacks that Paul's showing that she uses the different products with utilizing the kits and different looks you can get so I think once you see the whole customer journey it, it would make sense um, and potentially you know it could just be that someone doesn't know that Twig existed in the brand so they would assume that it was a new a new launch and when I started going to set like doing real modeling work it was it was Mac that I met I met it there my first job a, like a professional makeup artist not me and my mom in the mirror like trying to figure something out which was also cute but then I, I grew and I was empowered and I started making my own money and that happened with Mac like right by my side because I was I was learning how to express myself I was learning how to do this new job that I didn't even know I'd ever be able to do um, I didn't know people like me get to be in magazines or people where I'm from get to be in magazines and it was Mac that I was wearing as I was learning um, all these things and and and, and and, um, and reaching these milestones in my career. When I was in New York, like I didn't, I didn't know the makeup artist there. I didn't know who to ask to help me. It was also very expensive, so I started like practicing to do my own makeup. So makeup is all about practice, like most things. And like I said earlier, it's 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 like art. So artists need to practice. You need to learn how to draw things perfectly or the way that you want them on, on, on your face. And you want them different every other day depending on your mood because it is about, like I said, expression and that's what art is as well. So as I practiced, not every artist is going to paint with the same stroke. So you've got to find your own way to do things. Like I can use a lipstick three different ways. I'm using it on my eye, I'm using it on my cheek, I'm using it on my lips. I can use this global glow in three different ways. I'm using it on my body, I'm using it on my eyes, I'm using it here. And if I'm in the mood to 
to experiment because that's also what it takes. Then I'm going to put it on my lip uh, over a lip, uh, a lip balm and then add a gloss on top of it if I want like that type of look because it's also nice when the monochromatic face is, is working out if, you, if you're that brave. Um, so there's lots of ways to use products and you can mix and match things. Like I mix lipsticks all the time because I'll be like, mm, I want it to be more pink though, but I like this brown tone and then you add something else on top. And if you want to do ombre, you do ombre, but it's all about practice. Um, like most great things that one learns to do. The me is about accentuating what you have, looking your best natural self, just beautiful natural glow, your everyday work look, if that's your, your vibe, you know, weekends. And power really is that moment where you put on that face to go get something, achieve something. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that for us. And also there's a kit with two products and a kit with four products, also depending on your budget, what you want to spend, what value the consumer is looking for. I'm definitely having those conversations with my daughter. I feel like those conversations are not as important, but come with the same type of discussions of, you know, the SEX word and and the thing about boyfriends and kissing and, and all of that, like makeup becomes a part of that because now she's interested in, in you know, having an, another type of appearance. And I discuss those things with her, but she's also kind of very laid back. Makeup has been a part of her life for a long time because it's always there. Her mom is always using it. So she's she loves it, but it's not something that I want her to feel like she has to have to feel beautiful, which is why then I say with the me kit specifically, I want you to learn how to express and show the best parts of yourself and be proud of them. So she understands that. And maybe I'll do a little tutorial with her where she does my makeup instead. But yeah, she's, she's beautiful. And I'm glad everybody's kind of seeing her in me. It's really cool to hear that.